Let us revisit the intersection of meditation and impermanence. Yes, there are fundamentalists found in every spiritual tradition who are enthusiastic to get us to leverage ourselves and coerce ourselves through fear. And they find few uh, more efficient tools to do that than the specter of death. Well, the liberals are able to re wrench these, I these ideas out of the grasp of the fundamentalists. Buddha taught that after the monsoon, when the jungle floor is muddy, there are many footprints, but the largest footprint is made by the elephant. Likewise, there are many ideas we can consider. One that helps us to let go, the one that helps us to reverse our clinging the most is the idea of impermanence. Impermanence requires no faith whatsoever. We can look at the world around us. We can see the changing of the seasons, whether those seasons are very obvious or if you live in Southern California, remarkably subtle. But by observing the changing of the seasons, we see the impermanence of a year. At night, we can step outside our apartments, gaze into the sky, and look at the moon, and notice over time it's waxing and it's waning, and thus see the impermanence of a month. In the mornings, we can ar arise and step outside in time to see the sunrise. In the evening, we, we can see the illusion of the sunset and observe the impermanence of a day. Right now, please place your hands upon your chest. Feel it swell, feel it sink, and observe the impermanence of a breath over the span of a moment. That is why it is written ever-changing, one and all, there is nothing permanent to grasp. We do not consider impermanence to frighten ourselves into morality. For such an analog of morality based on fear of our mortality is, is really not love at all. It's just more self-serving. We explore impermanence so that we might viscerally realize the futility of grasping onto things and beings and phenomena. For most assuredly, their impermanence renders them ungraspable, just as our impermanence renders our grasping but an act of folly. My name is Lama Jigme Gyatso, and this is the Buddha Joy Meditation School.